Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ryan Embry, and I am the Director of Marketing here at Travel Media Group. I want to first thank everyone for taking the time to join me on this webinar today. I am very excited to share this presentation with you all. At the end of the webinar, I will be providing my direct contact information in case you had any follow-up questions with the content that I'm going to be sharing today. You can also use that chat feature, which is located right there in your toolbar, to type any sort of questions or feedback. I'll be responding to those questions personally following the conclusion of the webinar. Also, be on the lookout since today's presentation will feature an interactive poll. would absolutely love your participation in it. So let's get started today and learn how to far exceed new guest expectations by transforming your hotel experience. And we'll start today's webinar with a routine scenario in the industry, hotel renovations. In this instance, the hotel pool. Now, in most cases, when a major amenity is being renovated at a property, there tends to be a lot of notice and communication shared with incoming travelers, informing them what they can expect when they arrive on property. Hotels do this in an attempt to lessen the impact that this will have on a guest's overall experience. But what happens when this is not effectively communicated to the traveler? The answer, upset and disappointed guests. Your front desk could start to hear things like, the pool's closed, I was not expecting this. No one told me. If I had known, I never would have booked here. And just like that, the traveler has a negative start to their stay and most likely will end with a bad review and the last time you're ever going to see that traveler again. And it's all due to the hotel not properly setting expectations to the traveler. Now, fast forward to today, your hotel's pool might not be under renovation, but for the last year and a half, the entire experience at your hotel has changed. Hoteliers have been renovating their property experience to meet the quote-unquote new normal standards ushered in by COVID-19. But like the pool, if these changes aren't properly communicated to the traveler and the right expe expectations are not set, you run the risk of upsetting and disappointing your guests on property. And right now, traveler expectations, they're higher than ever. But why is this? Well, the first and most obvious reason is cleanliness. It's not, it's not that prior to COVID-19, guests didn't care about a clean room, but now guests associate cleanliness with their own health and safety. So the stakes for hoteliers have never been higher. The second reason is the emerg emergence and popularity of on-demand services. With the pandemic came the rise in services like Uber Eats and Netflix. Consumers expect things done right now at their convenience and not yours. In the hotel industry, mobile check-in allows a simple frictionless check-in whenever a guest arrives on your property. On-demand services are going to continue to push traveler expectations to new heights as technology keeps integrating with the hotel experience. And the last reason is because of the exceptional customer service guests have been receiving this past year. Think about it. In 2020, hotels saw historically low levels of guests on their property. So with less travelers, hotels became much more attentive to the needs of those that were traveling. And even waiving, and can waiving cancellation fees and accommodating those that weren't traveling. Now, with a labor shortage and the number of travelers increasing, it's harder for hotels to meet that same level of service. But unfortunately, that extra attention is no longer an added benefit. It's a requirement in the guest eyes. And if that level of customer service is not being met, you're going to hear about it online through online reviews and, your, and feedback. So the question is, how do we meet these crazy le levels of a guest expectation right now? And to do so, let's first get some insights into what type of travelers are staying at your hotels right now. And the first we'll cover today, we will we'll call the cautious traveler. This is a guest that maybe didn't do a lot of traveling or any traveling in 2020. This could be their first time stepping foot into a hotel since 2019. This traveler's top priority is cleanliness and probably did a lot of research online uh, prior to booking in order to feel comfortable staying at your property. This guest is also hoping to see some aspect of social distancing at the hotel and is on the lookout for new normal hotel policies and updates to keep guests healthy and safe. 
So with almost two years removed from the hotel world, these types of travelers have completely different expectations from before and essentially have to relearn what it is to stay in a hotel in 2021. Meanwhile, on the other side of the spectrum, we have a different type of traveler. Let's call them the adventurous traveler. This is a guest that is used to the new hotel experience and maybe did quite a bit of traveling in 2020 or even the first half of 2021. And because of this, they're comfortable with communicating with the hotel over text, social media, and other non-face-to-face -face channels. They know how to check in using their mobile phone and expect quick and exceptional customer service, the kind of service that they've been experiencing when they've been the only ones traveling. These guests, unlike the cautious traveler, have nothing to relearn because to them, this is the normal hotel experience. Now, does every traveler fall into one of these two categories? Of course not. There are varying degrees of each, but when we look at guest expectations for your property, it's important to keep this information in mind because both types of travelers expect completely different and sometimes conflicting things from your hotel experience. Let me show you what I mean. Take this scene for example. In it, we have both a cautious and an adventurous traveler in a busy hotel lobby. A couple things to notice about this scene. It looks like there is a restaurant and bar off to the left of the check-in area. And based on some signage, the hotel's implemented several different initiatives in response to COVID-19, including on-demand housekeeping service through text message, as well as capacity limitations for their elevator. So for this example, let's assume the hotel did nothing to set any type of expectations for these travelers arriving on property, much like the pool example we mentioned earlier. So with no expectations set by the property, let's see how both of these travelers felt about the same hotel experience. We'll start with the, the cautious traveler who writes a review titled, Not What I Was Expecting. The review reads, shocked to see the lobby, restaurant, and bar so busy and crowded with no space between guests. The staff was nice at the front desk, but housekeeping never came to service my room. Very disappointed, will not be returning to visit. So it's clear that this guest, even though the property had put some of the hotel safety policies in place, like the max capacity for the elevator, the guest still felt uncomfortable in other locations on property, like the lobby, restaurant, and bar. In fact, due to the lack of expectations set pre-arrival, the guests didn't even know there was a lobby bar on property. If they had, perhaps it would have been less of a shock and less impactful to the overall experience. And although the traveler mentioned the friendliness of the front desk staff, based on the review, it sounded like the front desk staff failed to mention their new on-demand housekeeping service through text message implemented by the property, something that could have easily been relayed to this guest pre-arrival via the hotel's social media, its website, or even online review responses. So how does this setting the wrong expectations or setting no expectations at all impact occupancy? Well, a negative review like this gives the impression to other travelers that this hotel is really not prioritizing guest safety. It describes a hotel that doesn't take cleanliness seriously with the lack of housekeeping service, and overall simply just not a good guest experience. This type of review right now is an occupancy killer and can end up having huge revenue impacts on your business. So let's see the adventurous traveler, same exact experience, same exact lobby. Let's see if they fa fared any better. Now, the adventurous traveler crafts a review titled, Didn't Meet My Expectations, and it reads, took a very long time to check in. They had housekeeping on demand, but no mobile check-in, question mark. The elevator also took forever. The lobby restaurant was the only good thing about this hotel. Very disappointed and will not be re returning to visit. So same exact one-star rating, but extremely different experience feedback from this traveler. With the adventurous traveler used to quick and exceptional service from his prior travels, a line at the front desk, no mobile check-in, and a max capacity of two for the elevator is more an inconvenience than a guest safety measure in their eyes. Now, they would have known this if communicated to them prior to their arrival that this was the case. In fact, the only positive aspect of their stay was the one thing the cautious traveler disliked the most. And I'm not on this webinar saying that it's possible to make every guest 100% satisfied, but if some, if not all of these expectations were properly set to both of these guests prior to their arrival, it could have lessened the negative impact on their experience. 
solved everything? Absolutely not. But potentially moving that star rating a couple notches? Absolutely. And right now, hotels just can't afford this type and degree of negative feedback online. So what what does this uh, adventurous traveler's impression does this give uh, to other travelers? The first impression is that this hotel service is both slow and a frustrating experience. Pair that with the inability to check in mobily. Other travelers reading this review might assume that this hotel has outdated processes not up to par with the new post-COVID world. And finally, the hotel experience just once again is simply not good. One of these one-star reviews is bad enough. But imagine if this property received both in a short period of time. A reputation disaster. That's the risk hotels run when not properly setting expectations. So let's find out how. First, let's look at the places hotels can set expectations online. The first we mentioned earlier, social media Channels like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, all places travelers are doing pre-booking research and post-booking discovery. Number two, your hotel website. Over the course of the pandemic, we at Travel Media Group made hundreds of changes and updates to our hotel partners' websites, ensuring they were setting the right expectations for future guests in a post-COVID world. Number three, we talked through today, online reviews. They serve as a very powerful tool in setting expectation for future stays. And finally, review response. Hoteliers are using review response to explain new policies and set expectations for future travelers that are reading, ultimately reading them. So now that we know where expectations are set, let's explore how to actually set them properly. So what we'll go ahead and do next is look at several different aspects of the guest experience and share ideas to help hotels set right expectation for travelers using social media and online review response. We'll start with housekeeping. And in this first social post, sometimes the most effective is the absolute simplest. This featured Im image says it all in regards to degree of cleanliness at this hotel. Remember, cleanliness is a top priority not just for cautious travelers, but all travelers right now. You could also share a post outlining your room cleaning and sanitizing process, or even post a picture of your housekeeping staff cleaning a room in real time. On the review response side, for another hotel, our professional review response team at Travel Media Group helped craft a response letting travelers know that daily housekeeping has been halted due to the pandemic. Now, including the reason why a policy has changed in a review response, in this case, it's to limit the contact between guests and staff, is absolutely critical for travelers to understand and appreciate why a change like this has been made. This type of review response would have been extremely helpful in the scenario that we laid out earlier and really could have prevented the negative sentiment from the guest. Next, let's look at policies. For this example, we have two social media posts to review. The first is an image at the front desk letting travelers know that the guest services team is available 24-7 to answer any questions. This post gives an idea to the traveler what the check-in process, <clears throat> check process looks like, and the link on the post directs the guest to hotel policies and procedures. The second example has, has to do with informing guests about local area policies outside of the hotel. As guests start to travel farther and farther, they might not be familiar with your city or state restrictions. Keep them informed using a post like you see here. Now on the review response side, we have an example of a response we crafted for a hotel in regards to their mask policy on property. Now this response is perfect because it states the hotel's commitment to safety followed by the policy itself and what to do if a guest notices someone not following that policy. This is the perfect way to set expectation for future travelers on what they can expect and what to do if they're in a very similar scenario. And finally, we'll check out food and beverage. This social post is a great idea for letting travelers know about the hotel's 24-7 dining options. From how get guests on property experience breakfast, which for some hotels on this call might have changed a whole lot since the beginning of the pandemic, to their grab-and-go market for snacks and drinks. But what happens when your hotel is not currently offering options on-site uh, breakfast to guests? 
In this review response example, we have a reply offering guest recommendations that could serve as an alternative to its on-site breakfast. Now, it's providing alternative options like this over review response or even social media that shows your guests that you realize the impact that this change is going to have on the hotel experience, and you care enough to brainstorm alternate ideas for them. But the key is for your guests to have this knowledge of these types of changes prior to arriving on property. So as we wrap up today, we know that your property is not the same property it was in 2019. For some of you on this presentation, your hotel could have completely changed different looks, staff, and even types of travelers than it did just a few months earlier. But no matter whether your guests are categorized as cautious or adventurous, both types of travelers are going to have an idea in their heads of what they expect. And it's up to you, the hotel, to set those expectations properly and optimize your new hotel guest experience. You know, so much of this last year has been completely out of our hands as hoteliers. But setting expectations online is something that should be completely in our control. And it's the hotels that are out there doing this effectively that are going to see the biggest returns and take advantage of this monster re industry recovery we are on the way to. And that's where we at Travel Media Group can help. We show you what expectations are being set right now online for your hotel, and we'll help you take back that control. We know how short staff a lot of hotels are right now and can ensure you're setting the right guest expectations through channels like your hotel's websites, online reviews, social media, and online review response. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and launch a poll asking what hotels or group of hotels on this webinar want to start setting the right guest expectations today. And right now we are signing up for an uh, signing up hotels for an August first rollout, meaning that these hotels are going to start impacting occupancy and growing revenue right now before the leisure summer season ends, putting TMG hotel partners in prime position to capture market share even as the kids start back to school and occupancy occupancy begins to slow. So here is my direct contact information in case you have any questions, or you can visit our website. And please connect with us on LinkedIn for more educational insights and opportunities uh, at Travel Media Group. We would love uh, for you to check out our content and follow and connect with us on LinkedIn. I want to thank everyone for taking the time and opportunity uh, to connect with me on this webinar, and we will talk to you next time. Thank you.